We're continuing to watch these heavy downpours move across the Midlands this evening. The heaviest is over to the east of the capital city, over in places like Sumter and Manning and just exiting Orangeburg County. Areas to the west are still seeing some scattered rain, but a little more light natured than people out to the east. So we're going to continue to see this rain as we head into the evening time hours and look at just how expansive this rain is all the way up to Charleston, West Virginia, all the way down to Savannah and into Atlanta. So this rain that's still in Georgia is headed our direction. That's what we have to get through until this whole event is over. And we do have the threat for seeing some thunderstorms with it as we head into the evening, although that threat is diminishing. Now, current winds at, for the state 17 mile per hour here in Columbia, 20 up in Greenville 15 in Sumter. So a little breezy, nothing we can't handle and we've certainly seen worse. And in terms of wind gusts again, just under 30 miles per hour, 29 up in Greenville, 23 miles per hour in Sumter. So nothing crazy happening right now. Post tropical storm Nestor, it doesn't matter what you call it. It's just an area of low pressure at this point. Center somewhere in the middle of Georgia and it's moving to the northeast. It'll pass over South Carolina sometime tomorrow morning. And again, the center of the storm doesn't really do much with this system as all of the rain is to the north and east of it. So we'll continue to feel the effects overnight tonight and into early parts of tomorrow morning. This is our state forecast for tonight at 2 a.m. Still seeing some reds and oranges, some uh, scattered to numerous showers and storms across the region. Then they become more isolated in nature. By the time you're waking up tomorrow morning, maybe an isolated shower and that all pushes out. By the time we head into lunchtime, the sun starts to peak out and it doesn't shape up to be that bad of a day. So any outdoor things do it tomorrow afternoon. In terms of rainfall, additional rainfall, we could see anywhere from half an inch to an inch, depending where those heavier Rains, uh, rain bands set up and we do have a small threat for severe weather, especially if you are along the coast or in the extreme eastern Midlands. It's a two out of five if you are there. The rest of us are in a one out of five a marginal risk. The risk is for a very small chance for a tornado and again that risk is going down. We'll still keep our eyes on the radar as radar as we go through tonight. We're also dealing with those breezy conditions and heavy rainfall. That's really our biggest concern overnight tonight. So lows dropping into the upper 50s heavy rainfall all night tonight clearing out as we head into tomorrow highs reaching the mid 70s 76 degrees here in the capital city and we dry things out for monday high of 79 front comes through tuesday bringing some more showers and storms and then looking towards next week we dry things out for wednesday and thursday before our next system comes our way